Hi everyone! Today we're going to do a quickie for our hips. When you don't have a lot of time, but you're motivated. Coming down onto our back right away. Taking a moment to get your foundation. So nice, uncurl the toes, nice grounded through the balls of the feet, as well as the heels. Feel the rib cage soften, the throat soft, the head heavy on the mat. Broaden your shoulder blades and feel, uh, see if you can get your upper arms, forearms, the palms of the hands on the mat. We're gonna warm up just with our imprint and release. Nice breath in to prepare. Neutral spine, on your out breath, low back gently flat to the mat. Breath in back to neutral. Out breath, low belly draws back towards the spine. Low back lengthens, back to neutral. Feeling a little roll of the pelvis, but mostly focusing on staying nice and relaxed, not gripping in the bum, not using that upper body. This is, you know, when you're doing this exercise nicely, it's almost effortless. You're really just using your central core and your breath to get this movement done. So one more nice just imprint, and then we're gonna move right into our hip rolls. So imprint, back to neutral, and we're gonna take three breaths to climb to the top. So breath in, neutral. Out breath to gently imprint. We're gonna go a little further this time, squeeze the bum and just hover the tailbone. Leave the entire low back on the mat. Imagine tipping your pubic bone a little more towards your nose. Second out breath, you're gonna climb, lifting the low back one bone of the back at a time, but leaving that entire rib cage down on the mat. Breath in there. Exhale to come up to your full bridge position, and then peeling down in a single out breath. Right back to neutral, we'll do that three breath climb one more time. Exhale to gently flat, hover the tailbone. Pause there. See if you can get a little more out of it. And then peel up with the low back, but not the rib cage yet. And then finally climbing back up to your low bridge. Nice breath in and peel it down. Melt back into the mat, one bone of the back at a time. Really see if you can connect that lowest part of the spine before the pelvis. Right back to your neutral. And this time lifting up and holding. Here we're just gonna lift and lower the heels, keeping the pelvis nice and still. So on your out breath, lifting those heels, <sighs> staying spread in the toes. And when you inhale and you lower the heels, I want you to squeeze the bum to see if you can get that pelvis a little bit higher and a little more open in the front of the hips. <sighs> There's really no movement through your upper body. Your hips are adapting to what your ankles are doing. You're squeezing the bum to keep that pelvis up for three, for two, for one. Ground both heels and we'll leave the pelvis still, getting wide in the knees, opening in the hips as you breathe in and exhale back into the center. We can add some arms in here if you wish, the hands together, getting wide across the chest as you breathe in and then back in. So just a little bit of additional balance. Expansion as you breathe in, the pelvis stays up though. Back in for two more. Nice breath in, get wide. Exhale, narrow, draw up in the pelvic floor and in with that low belly to really get that support centrally. Perfect. Here, lower the arms and peel it down. One bone of the back at a time. Feel that length as you return back to the mat. And you're just gonna stretch it out for a second because we're coming back into a single bridge series. Perfect. All right, bend those knees, get the feet nice and grounded, long in the neck, relaxed in the shoulders, good foundation. On your out breath. Peeling up to that low bridge position. This time pressing through the right leg. Pelvis stays level. Left leg comes up to tabletop. 
Return that leg down to the mat. Press through the left leg. Right leg comes up to tabletop. Lower it down and lower the whole bum. We're building on that. Out breath to peel back up. Press through the right leg. Bring the left leg to tabletop. Lower the hips, lower the bum so it's just about. Lift it back up. Lower that leg down to the mat. Press through the left leg, lift the right leg. Keep the hips level. Lower the bum just so it's, it hovers an inch from the mat. Lift it back up. And lower that leg next to its partner. Lower your whole self down. Coming back up. Exhale. Press through the right leg. Left leg comes up to tabletop. Lower the hips. Lift them back up. Straighten the leg. Reach those toes a little higher towards the ceiling without changing anything in your spine. We're going to flex the foot. You're going to lower it down. Just what you can control. You're going to point and raise. Flex it down. Point and raise. Flex it down. Point and raise. We're going to do two more. Hold it here. Lower the leg down to the mat. Press through the left leg. Right leg comes up to tabletop. Lower the hips so they're just about an inch from the mat. Come back up. Hips are level. Straighten that leg. Point the toe. Reach the toe a little bit higher. Just so you're still in the, in the spine and the pelvis. Flex the foot. Lower it down just what you can control. Point and raise. Flex it down. Point and raise. Nothing moves in the spine. Use your breath. Got three more. Last one. Hold it here and lower it next to its partner. Lower, hold bum down to the mat. Nice breath in. Coming back up on your out breath. Pressing through the right leg. Left leg comes up to tabletop. Lower the hips. An inch from the mat. Pick them back up. Straighten the leg towards the sky. Lift those toes a little higher without changing anything in your spine. Flex the foot. Lower it down, but stop when the thighs are parallel. From here, you're going to squeeze the inner thighs together. Press the knees together. And then sweep the leg and open it out to the side. And you're going to press the knees together. And you're going to open the leg out to the side. And you're going to press the knees together. And you're going to open the leg out to the side. The pelvis has to stay level. Keep the bum up. Press the knees together. Open out to the side. We're going to do two more. Open out to the side. Press the knees together. Open out to the side. Center yourself. Lift the leg up. Reach those toes towards the ceiling a little more. Nothing changes in your spine. Return that leg next to its partner. Nice breath in. Press through the left leg. Right leg up to tabletop. Lower the bum. Just an inch from the mat. Pick it back up. Straighten the right leg. Toes towards the ceiling, level in the pelvis. Flex the foot, lowering it only so the thighs are parallel. Staying still there. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Press the knee together. And then open the leg out to the side. Press the knees together. Open the leg out to the side. Nice and still in the rest of your body. Press the knees together. Open out to the side. Squeeze the bum to keep the hips high. Out to the side. We've got two more. Squeeze the knees together. Open out to the side. Stay level. Last one. Open out to the side. Back into the center. Raise that leg. Good form here. Reach the toes towards the sky. And then lower that leg. Nice breath in. 
and peel it down. One bone at the back at a time. One more. <laughs> nice breath in here. On your exhale, peel it up. Pressing through the right leg, left leg to tabletop. Lower the bum. Lift it back up. From here, we're tapping the toe. Tap and back up. Tap and back up. Tap and back up if you have it in you. Have the arms up. Tap and up. Tap and up. Tap and up. Tap and up for two more. Good, pausing here. Lower the bum an inch from the mat. Pick it back up. Lower and lift for two more nice and slow. You can do it. And then we're going for eight nice and quick. Try not to thrust through the ribs or press through the head. I lost count again. I always lose count. I think you've got three more. Two, <laughs> one, hold it here. Return the arms to the mat. Return the leg to the mat. Take a nice breath in and press through that left leg. Right leg up to tabletop. Lower the bum an inch from the mat. Bring it back up, that pelvis is level. We're tapping the toe at first, so we have our tap and our lift. Our tap and our lift. If you want the challenge of having the hands in the air too, tap and lift, tap and lift. Nice and slow, just a little hinge at the hip. Nothing else moves, you're strong in the leg that's on the mat for three for two, for one, hold it here, four nice and slow, checking in that that pelvis is level, you're using your breath, the knee on the mat is staying right over the foot, it's not drifted out to the side, no strain through that knee, and then we've got eight quick ones, I'm even counting, four more, <laughs> Three, two, and one. Beautiful, lower the arms to the mat. Lower that leg, take a breath in. It's the last time you're melting down, so enjoy returning one bone of the back to the mat. And release right back to neutral. Bring one knee in at a time, or both together, if that feels nice. Just hug those knees into the chest. A little bit of rock side to side if that feels good. Just to lengthen where you just worked. Good. And then lowering down one at a time and coming on to our sides. If you have any shoulder issues, you don't have to be propped up on the elbow like this, but it's a little bit of nice additional work if you can. Keeping that rib cage pressed nicely away from the mat and the head in line with the rest of the spine, or always an option to drop down as per our usual. But if you can do that little extra today, that's great. Top arm is gonna be either on the top hip or behind the, behind the ear. I sort of like it up here better so you don't get all twisty in the shoulder. But hips are stacked, it's all our same alignment. We're gonna lift the leg, flex and lower. Point, raise, flex it down. Point, raise, flex it down. Flex it down. Hold this one up. Flex the foot. Turn the toes and the kneecap towards the ceiling without changing anything at the pelvis. And we're gonna lift here for eight, for seven, for six, for five for four, for three, for two, for one. Check in that you're still lifted in the rib cage. Turn the toes all the way down, the kneecap all the way down. Not moving in the pelvis though. And we lift here, right over the other foot for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, 
for one. Pause, rotate up for four, for three, for two, for one, rotate down. Lift for four, for three, for two, for one. Rotate up for two, for one, rotate down for two, for one. We're alternating here. Lift with the toes up. Rotate down, lift, up, lift, lift, up, lift, down, lift, up, lift, down, lift. We're doing four more. Toes up, toes down, toes up, toes down. Strong in your shoulder if you're up. Perfect. We got one more. Boom, boom. Hold it here. Point the toe, oh, and then. And release it down. We have to do the other side. So stacking nicely, up on the elbow if possible. Keep that rib cage pressed away from the mat. You're still in stacked in the pelvis and that arm to the back of the head or that hand to the back of the head. Just lifting and lowering at first. Point and raise, flex it down. Point and raise, flex it down. As you raise the leg, think of pressing into the arm more so that you don't end up having this happen. You point and raise, you lift more in your upper body so that you can counter that and stay nice and still. Point and raise, flex it down. We'll do two more. And then we'll hold it up. So flex the foot. Turn so that those toes are up but you're still in the waist. And we lift here for eight, for seven, for six. Remember to be strong in the arm that's on the mat. Three, two, one. Rotate the foot down, the kneecap down, but nothing moves in the waist. And we lift here for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Rotate, toes are up, we lift for four. Remember to stay strong in that arm. Press the rib cage away from the mat. Turn the toes down. Lift here for four, for three, for two, for one. Turn so those toes and kneecap are up. Two, one. Rotate down. Two, one. And then switch every time. Toes up, lift. Toes down, lift. Toes up, lift. Toes down, lift. Toes up, lift. Toes down, lift. Remember to stay nice and strong in that arm that's on the mat if you're up there. That's our additional challenge. We're thinking so much about the hip that we might miss that we're getting a little slouchy in the arm. Two and one. Boom. Hold it here. Point the toe. Lengthen. Press through that arm on the mat. Lower it down. And relax. We've got one more. We've worked the back of our hips a lot. We still have to work the front, the hip flexors, just a little bit to make sure that we're nice and balanced. So we're going to come up to sitting to do that. And if it really, uh, if you can sit out nice and long, if you have that length in your hamstrings and flexibility in your hips, then you can sit up nice and tall and even cross the arms in that I dream of genie position. And we'll be lifting the, lifting the leg from here. I'm quite tight in my hips, so I am going to put my hands behind me a little bit. I'm still going to keep my neutral spine, and I'm just going to hinge back a little bit so that from here at least I can still lift my leg <laughs> a tiny bit. What I'm looking to avoid is this. You're not curling in your back. You don't want to round there. As you lift the leg, you also want to feel like you draw the tummy button, the chest forward, so that you're staying nice and still in the spine. If you have the hands behind you, you're strong in the shoulders. They're away from the ears. Take a breath in to prepare. We'll start with that left leg. Toes nice and pointed. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. For four, for three, for two, for one. Flex the foot here and we'll lift again, this time quicker. Reaching out through the bottom of your heel. 
Really feel that length in the leg. For four, for three, for two, for one. Point the toe, lift a little higher if you can, and lower it down with control. <laughs> Shake it out a little bit, nice breath in. We gotta do the other side. Toe is pointed at first. Nice and neutral in your spine. Feel where your sit bones are in the mat. They don't, they don't move. It's just from that hip. A lift and a lower. A lift and a lower. Lift and lower. Really feel like you reach those toes out long. Last one like this. And flex the foot. Keep that spine neutral. We lift quick. Hold this one up, point the toe. Lift that leg a little higher if you can. <laughs> awesome, and lower it with control. Bend the knees. Relax it in. Little rock side to side. And then we're gonna put it almost all together in one exercise. We're gonna do four reps with beautiful precision. Legs out nice and long, arms behind with the fingers either pointing ahead to the sides, back. This is what's comfortable in your wrists and body. But whatever way you, you choose to lift, have the fingers nice and spread, that good connection through the palms. Make sure that you're supported in the shoulders so you're not slouchy. You really have the chest lifted, the shoulder blades gently slid down your back so you have a really good foundation in the upper body to start. Modification is to bend the knees if you need and just lift at the bum or have the legs straight. Keep that neutral spine on your out breath. Draw in with the low belly, a little lift of the pelvic floor and you're squeezing the bum. Eyes stay forward. Lower down, just let that bum touch for a minute and come back up. Yeah, and down. We're gonna do two more. Try to stay nice and strong in the hands. Good, don't lose your foundation through, through the hands or it'll end up hurting in the wrists or the shoulders. Last one. Holding here your bonus, press through that right leg. See if you can lift the left, lower it down. Press through the left, see if you can lift the right. And with nice control, lower it down. Bend the knees, give yourself a well-deserved hug. <laughs> a little rock if that feels right. And thank you very much for joining me. Have a great day.